interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So, should you get a high-end, expensive thumb drive like this SanDisk Wireless Connect Stick, or will you be okay cheaping out and getting a cheaper one like this Sony thumb drive I've got here? To find out, I got both of them and uh, put them to the test. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you will definitely know the importance of thumb drives for many people's lives. It carries data from point A to point B, is extremely functional and really helps out people with whatever they're doing, jobs, studying, etc, etc. So, I decided to find out whether it's worth the money to get an expensive one like the SanDisk and or a cheaper one like a Sony. To make sure the comparison was fair, I got 16 gigabytes of storage for both and uh, decided to use them for a while and find out how they fared. So let's start off with the similarities. Both of these have 16 gigabytes of storage. They store data from, and transport data from point A to point B. Both of them are really compact and can fit pretty much anywhere you want. And both of them have a little hook so that you can tie it to your keychain. A nice touch. But the differences is where the interesting part lies. So in terms of design, it's very, very different. The SanDisk definitely feels much more well built with and definitely looks way cooler with this kind of hexagonal textured front side and a engraved SanDisk logo. And with that matte plastic all around and a golden tinted USB cap and a red USB plug, the SanDisk definitely looks way way better than the cheapo Sony with the clunky click system and glossy plastic all around. But that's really not surprising because this costs way more than this USB drive here. So let's move on shall we. So in terms of functionality is where I'll expect to see the most difference the more you pay. So in terms of speed, the SanDisk definitely beats the Sony because it features USB 3.0 support which means data can be transported transported from this drive to your computer way faster than the Sony can. So you don't have to wait around if you are transporting large files on a thumb drive um, to transport to and fro computers, which definitely will save time and definitely will help you out. But whether this speed advantage is worth it is still questionable, especially if you're only carrying cheap documents like, uh, not cheap documents, small documents like Microsoft Word documents, just text in general, to and fro computer. The speed then will be definitely negligible and the time savings definitely won't be worth the extra cash you gotta spend on a high-end USB thumb drive like this. And besides, you don't have to get a high-end USB thumb drive nowadays to get a USB 3.0 supported thumb drive, which means you can get fast speeds as well without spending much more than this Sony one. I've got here. So yeah, is it worth it? I'm not that sure. It's really up to you. So in terms of special features, the cheapo Sony one really has nothing to it. It's cheap and it can store data and that's about it. But the SanDisk has a lot of cool things up its cool tricks up its sleeve, which is really interesting. So after doing a bit of exploring, I realized the power of this device right here. So this is the SanDisk wire Connect Wireless Stick, which is a new model from SanDisk that allows you to actually access data remotely off this USB thumb drive without actually having it, it plugged into any devices. So with the push of the power button on the right side of the thumb drive, you can actually turn it on and it will actually send out a Wi-Fi signal that you can connect to if you have the SanDisk Connect app and basically access all the files inside the thumb drive without having to use a computer or anything with a USB port, which is really, really cool. Now this feature may seem gimmicky to some because like, if you're carrying a laptop around, why do you need it? Or, or do you really need wireless remote access of your files? And to be honest, I thought that too. Um, but after using this special feature for a while, I was surprised by how many times it saved my bacon. 
So every time I needed to do a quick and urgent change to a document on the thumb drive, say I was on the bus to school and I needed to change the file, but I didn't have a laptop with me, I could do it with my phone. Using the Sanders Connect app, I connected really quickly. I can download the file from the thumb drive, type in uh, the edits onto my document and then put it back on the thumb drive so I can submit to my teacher no problem which definitely saved my hours when it came to submitting homework and different assignments so very very useful feature indeed of course this feature may not be useful to everyone especially if you're someone that always carries a laptop with you but for me I find that use that wireless feature very useful and possibly worth that extra cash that you pay for a thumb drive like this. So that's it I guess, design, functionality, special features, we've compared them all. So in conclusion, is the price gap worth it? Once again, it really comes down to each and, each and everyone's specific special scenario. I can't tell you whether it's worth it for you, you've really got to do the research yourself. Think about it, do you need the extra features with the high-end thumb drive? Then you may, you, you should spend the extra money. But if you really don't need the features, a low-end cheap thumb drive like the Sony is definitely more than enough. So once again, these two thumb drives, both of them are great, but of course, only if they are used in the right scenario. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope my comparison was interesting or helped you a lot. Uh, and if you did, do hit the like button. If you didn't, you can hit the setup button on the right side. But you do tell me in the comments why you did that so I can improve. Share the video with friends and family or anyone who's basically shopping for a thumb drive or external storage solution. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more tech videos like this. And uh, I'll see you next time.